I'm really looking forward to hearing these questions and offering some suggestions and most importantly, working with you to make some positive change happen in your communities. Do you have any tips for us about running a successful campaign? But Abby, you asked it beautifully and confidently. And I think you have just displayed one of the most important skills, which is bravery and courage. To stand in front of all of your class and ask your member of parliament a question really displays your courage and willingness to have a go. So you need to explain to people what the problem is. Why do we need to change whatever we want to change? There's very few things that can be achieved on your own. So you need to turn around and look at all those people behind you and try and galvanise their support as well. How long will it take to create more waste depots in our local area to minimise fly tipping, preventing further pollution, poisoning our rivers and seas? That is a brilliant question, Leo. Well done. Expertly asked, really, really clear and a very kind of topically important thing to be discussing at the moment. The most important thing is to convey to people why this is a problem, why this lets our area down. Also, it's important that you as the next generation are really quite vocal and determined about this. I think there are many, many ways in which we could communicate that this is not on. Do you enjoy your job? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. I wouldn't do it if I didn't, to be honest. What's it like working with Boris Johnson? Oh, that's a lovely question. <laughs> it's an absolute privilege to work with Boris Johnson, actually, um, or the Prime Minister. We never refer to him as Boris or even <laughs> Boris Johnson. He's always referred to as Prime Minister, PM or the boss. What do you think we should do to get more people to recycle? Gosh, that's a brilliant question. And first of all, can I just say how exciting it is to see your new classroom? Because that's the school I used to go to. Please invite me to come and have a look at your new school because I'd really love to do that. And in terms of answering your question around people doing more recycling, I think it is partly educating again. It's really good to inspire people, not just tell people that that can be a bit boring, can't it? Some people appreciate the inspiration that would come from um, letting them know what amazing things could be made out of recycled glass, recycled plastic, recycled metal. Um, lots of ideas there, and I'll probably think of more, but I think it's a brilliant project to get behind.